Welcome to the AACS Daily News for March 16, 2017. There's a new brewery at the center of Attleboro. Skyrock Brewery opened its doors late last week with a ribbon-cutting ceremony put on by the Chamber of Commerce. Local dignitaries attended the event, including Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito. To learn more, we spoke with Chamber of Commerce President Jack Lank. Hi, I'm Jack Lank, President of the United Regional Chamber of Commerce, and we had a wonderful ribbon-cutting event today at the new Skyrock Brewery right here in downtown Attleboro. A phenomenal family. Uh, they've invested a lot of time and a lot of uh, money into this. It's a brand new facility. If you haven't had the opportunity to stop by, we had quite a crew today to welcome them to the community uh, and do a ribbon cutting. Lieutenant Governor Polito was here, uh, along with the mayor and a lot of the city councilors, a lot of our state representatives, uh, just to welcome them to, com to the community. This is, this is wonderful. We didn't expect anything like this. Um, uh, we're super excited that all the the lieutenant governor was able to come, the mayor, all the chamber of commerce, the city councils were able to come and do the ribbon cutting. We're super excited to open this business in Attleboro, so we're very excited. So uh, about 12 years ago, I bought my husband a home brew kit, and he made his first batch, and it turned out wonderful. Um, and we've always wanted to open a brewery. My job actually came to a closure in August of last year, so we decided why not? This is a good opportunity to take on. We wanted to be in Attleboro. We live in Attleboro. We love Attleboro. Um, and then we were lucky enough to find this spot. So go big or go home. And the first the first part is trying to find the uh, building that was zoned properly. We were lucky enough to find this building that's zoned properly for us. It's de close to downtown, which is in the mayor's vision to be part of the um, revitalization. Um, and then you have to go through the, the permit process. We have to clean out the building. We have to grind the floors. We had help from everybody. All the local community came and helped us out. Um, we had some help from the, the congressmen to help us get our permit process. We have to get a federal permit, Massachusetts permit, um, we have to get a city permit, and then we have to go back and get a farmer's brewer's permit. So it took quite a long time. We opened the lease in June of 20, uh, this year in June, and um, we're hope open in March. So it was quite a long haul, but we worked really hard to get here. So we have a full tap room so they can come and get a flight of beer so they can enjoy a pint at the bar and then they can take 32 ounce and 64 ounce growlers to be sampled at home. Then they can re return their growlers and we'll refill them. And we hope to have um, six beers on tap at all times. Depending on what sells, we'll bring up some new test batches. People can try them out and give us their feedback and then we'll put them on tap. We're super excited. This has been a really great day. We love the turnout and we're just super excited to open a the first craft brewery in Attleboro. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our contents in high definition on our website, AACS.com, on the AACS mobile app, and on the AACS Roku channel. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.